Captain's log. Stardate 8130.3. Starship Enterprise on training mission to Gamma Hydra, Section 14. Coordinates 22, 87, 4. Approaching neutral zone. All systems normal and functioning. Leaving Section 14 for Section 15. Stand by. Project parabolic course to avoid entering neutral zone. Aye, Captain. Course change projected. Captain, I'm getting something on the distress channel. On speakers. Imperative, this is the Kobayashi Maru. 19 periods out of Altair 6. We have struck a brevitic mine and have lost all power. Our hull is penetrated and we have sustained many casualties. This is the Starship Enterprise. Your message is breaking up. Can you give us your coordinates? Repeat, this is the Starship. Enterprise, our position is Gamma Hydra, Section 10. In the neutral zone. Penetrated. Life support systems failing. Can you assist us, Enterprise? Can you assist Data on Kobayashi Maru. Subject vessel is third class neutronic fuel carrier. Crew of 81, 300 passengers. Damn. Mr. Sulu, plot an intercept course. May I remind the captain that if a starship enters the zone... I'm aware of my responsibilities, mister. Estimating two minutes to intercept. Now entering the neutral zone. Warning, we have entered neutral zone. Warning. We are now in violation of treaty, Captain. Send by transporter room ready to beam survivors aboard. Captain, I've lost their signal. Alert, sensors indicate three Klingon cruisers bearing 316 Mark IV closing fast. Visual. Battle stations, activate shields. Shields activated. Inform the Klingons we are on a rescue mission. They're jamming all the frequencies, Captain. Klingons on attack course and closing. Klingons on attack course Mr. Sulu, get us out of here. I'll try, Captain. Alert, Klingon torpedoes activated. Alert. Evasive action. <laughs> Engineering, damage report. Main energizer hit, Captain. Engage auxiliary power. Prepare to return fire. Shields ah! collapsing, Captain. Fire all phasers. No power to the weapons, Captain. Captain, it's no use. We're dead in space. Activate escape pods. Send out the log boy. All hands abandon ship. Repeat. All hands abandon ship. All right, open her up. Any suggestions, Admiral? Prayer, Mr. Savick. The Klingons don't take prisoners. Lights. More is on. Captain? Trainees, to the briefing room. Position, heal thyself. Is that all you got to say? What about my performance? I'm not a drama critic. Well, Mr. Savick, are you going to stay with the sinking ship? Permission to speak candidly, sir. Granted. I don't believe this was a fair test of my command abilities. And why not? Because. There was no way to win. A no-win situation is a possibility every commander may face. Has that never occurred to you? No, sir. It is not. How we deal with death is at least as important as how we deal with life, wouldn't you say? As I indicated, Admiral, that thought had not occurred to me. Well, now you have something new to think about. Carry on. Sir, may I ask you a question? What's on your mind, Lieutenant? The Kobayashi Maru, sir. Are you asking me if we're playing out that scenario now? On the test, sir. Will you tell me what you did? I would really like to know. Lieutenant, you are looking at the only Starfleet cadet who ever beat the no-win scenario. How? I reprogrammed the simulation so it was possible to rescue the ship. What? You cheated. I changed the conditions of the test. 
Got a commendation for original thinking. I don't like to lose. Then you never faced that situation. Face death. I don't believe in the no-win scenario. We are receiving a distress signal from the USS Kobayashi Maru. The ship has lost power and it's stranded. Starfleet Command has ordered us to rescue them. Starfleet Command has ordered us to rescue them. Captain. Two Klingon vessels have entered the neutral zone and are locking weapons on us. That's okay? That's okay? Yeah, don't worry about it. Did he say don't worry about it? Is he not taking the simulation seriously? Three more Klingon warbirds decloaking and targeting our ship. I don't suppose this is a problem either. They're firing, Captain. Alert medical beta prepare to receive all crew members from the damaged ship. And how do you expect us to rescue them when we're surrounded by Klingons, Captain? Alert medical. Our ship's being hit. Shields at 60%. I understand. Or should we, I don't know, fire back? No. Of course not. What is this? What's going on? Hmm. Armed photons, prepare to fire on the Klingon warbirds. Yes, sir. Jim, their shields are still up. Are they? No, they're not. Fire on all enemy ships. One photon each should do. Let's not waste ammunition. Target locked and acquired on all warbirds. Firing. <laughs> All ships destroyed, Captain. Begin rescue of the stranded crew. So, we've managed to eliminate all enemy ships, no one on board was injured, and the successful rescue of the Kobayashi Maru crew is underway. How the hell did that kid beat your test? I do not know. This session has been called to resolve a troubling matter. James T. Kirk, step forward. Cadet Kirk, evidence has been submitted to this council suggesting that you violated the ethical code of conduct pursuant to regulation 17.43 of the Starfleet Code. Is there anything you care to say before we begin, sir? Yes, I believe I have the right to face my accuser directly. Step forward, please. This is Commander Spock. He is one of our most distinguished graduates. He's programmed the Kobayashi Maru exam for the last four years. Commander. Cadet Kirk, you somehow managed to install and activate a subroutine in the programming code, thereby changing the conditions of the test. Your point being? In academic vernacular, you cheated. Let me ask you something I think we all know the answer to. The test itself is a cheat, isn't it? I mean, you programmed it to be unwinnable. Your argument precludes the possibility of a no-win scenario. I don't believe in no-win scenarios. Then not only did you violate the rules, you also failed to understand the principal lesson. Please, enlighten me. You of all people should know, Cadet Kirk. A captain cannot cheat death. I of all people. Your father, Lieutenant George Kirk, assumed command of his vessel before being killed in action, did he not? I don't think you like the fact that I beat your test. Furthermore, you have failed to divine the purpose of the test. Enlighten me again. The purpose is to experience fear. Fear in the face of certain death. To accept that fear and maintain control of oneself and one's crew. This is a quality expected in every Starfleet captain. <laughs> 